The V76U73 by Neold is an emulation of the legendary Telefunken TAB V76 tube preamp and the U73 compressor. Hi, I'm Marlon and welcome to the White Noise Studio. I'll demonstrate how the Neold V76U73 sounds and how it works, so you can know if it can be useful for you. The plugin basically is three emulated old vintage Telefunken TAB units. The V76-80 mono tube mic preamp, where 80 defines the low cut frequency. The U73 compressor and limiter. And the U70A VU meter, which is in this plugin a sort of a command center with useful functions to work in a DAW. The plugin is laid out like this. The V76 preamp feeds into the U73 compressor and finally the U70A command module VU meter. The layout is simple and pretty straightforward. Let's start with the U76 preamp module. The original unit had built-in filters for broadcast which limits the bandwidth between 40Hz and 15Hz. And with this knob you can turn it on or off. So you can apply it for removing low-end rumble or very high frequency noise or peaks to let the module operate more efficiently. Because of the way the transformers of the original modules work, there's always a slight boost around 40Hz when this filter is engaged. So that can make drums sound bigger. The gain dial here serves two functions. First one is to drive the compressor since there's no threshold control. And by turning it up, you also increase the harmonics and saturation settings in the tube circuitry when you crank it. The volume boost is limited from 43 dB to 76 dB to avoid the compressor to be overpushed. Would have been interesting to hear that. The input gain is compensated at the output to have loudness normalization. So it prevents weird volume surprises here. The flat and 3 kHz toggle lets you enable or disable a 3 kHz high cut filter. So it will tame harshness and can be great on for instance bass guitar and drums. This dial is for the low cut or high pass filter. You can select between 80Hz, 300Hz and a combined 80 and 300Hz low cut. Here's the U73 compressor limiter. And here's another filter knob. This one enables a 12 dB per octave in the compressor sidechain so low end below 100 Hz can be left out of the compression circuit or included. The stereo button is a stereo link button, so you can switch between stereo linked mode where the audio influences both the left and right channel, or it can operate as a dual mono compressor. This dial here switches between compressing, limiting or bypass when you only want to use the preamp. Both compressor and limiter use the same threshold ceiling and the limiter is more of a hard knee version of the compressor, so it reacts more aggressively. The attack can be set to fast or auto. Fast has an attack of 0.5 milliseconds, really fast. For a lot of source materials, that can be too fast, but great for limiting. The auto attack changes attack times based on the source material, so you have to experiment what sounds best and use your ears. Not a bad thing at all. The release can be set from 0.3 seconds to a very slow 10 seconds, and the release times of 2.5, 6 and 10 offer dual release curves which reduce pumping artifacts a lot. So that will be nice of for instance the group boss or master boss.
Okay, let's check the U70A control center. You find the bypass button here. And the VU meter can show the input, compression or output and you can use this dial to select that. There's a makeup gain here to compensate for the compression and a mix control. Now this mix control is not a dry wet control for the entire plugin, but it's a dry wet for the U73 compressor only and placed after the preamp. So the preamp cannot be used in parallel with this dial. This is for the compressor only. The trim dial is for changing the output volume of the entire plugin and the gain was for the compression only to bone out that difference. And you can also switch the language of the plugin, the original German, or into English. You could already hear how the plugin sounds on a few sources. Now I will use the plugin on the untreated raw live recording you hear in the entire video and use the V76 U73 on every channel and keep my mouth shut.
Okay, let's do a comparison. Here's the raw recording with all V76U73s disabled. And here's with all of them enabled. And off. On. And off. And on. The Neold V76U73 offers a great sound and add another flavor to the ever-expanding palette of compressors and preamps available. It's included in the Plugin Alliance subscription plan for free and you can check it out using the link in the description below. For more channel strip emulations, check out my reviews displayed on screen right now. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!